for question 8, we are given the first derivative is equal to this expression here. And the function of pi over 2 is 0. Okay, And we are supposed to show that the second derivative plus 4 times of the function of x is equal to this expression. Okay. Now, um, we are going to start to prove from the left hand side first because it's a more complicated expression as compared to the right hand side. Okay. For the left hand side, we see that there is a second derivative here. So we need to find an expression for the second derivative. We are given that the first derivative is this expression. So the first derivative is given. From here, if we want to find the second derivative, then we have to do a differentiation. If we differentiate the first derivative, we'll get the second derivative. Okay, after we get the expression, we can plug into here plus 4 times of the function of x. Okay, This is the first derivative. To get a function of x from here, we need to do a integration to get the function of x. Okay. So once you get the function of x, you can plug into here. Now to do this question, you have to be familiar with this notation here. This one is actually means uh, dy dx. Okay. So a uh, second derivative means d2y dx square. Therefore, when you are given this, this expression, you want to find the second derivative, you have to do a differentiation. This one is the expression for y. Okay. So if you are given dy dx, you need to find the expression for y, then you have to do an integration. Now we are going to start to uh, find this expression here. So f double prime x from here if i want to do if i want to find the f double prime x i need to do a differentiation differentiate a sine will give you a cosine you still have to differentiate a 4x here chain rule give you a 4 differentiate a cosine will give you a negative sign negative negative will be a positive sign to x multiplied by a 2 so this was simplified as Next, uh, I'm going to find this expression here. Uh, this expression here, I need to integrate the f uh, prime x. So, integrate this expression here will give us negative cosine 4x. Uh, for integration, we divide by the 4. Integrate a uh, cosine is a sine. Divide by a 2. Don't, for, don't forget, uh, integration, there will be a plus c there. Okay. Now, um, before we can substitute this expression into here and this expression here into here, we need to find out the value of c. Okay. To find out the value of C, we are going to make use of this information. This information means when x is pi over 2, okay, the value of this function will give you a value of 0. Okay, That means if we are going to substitute the x by pi over 2 here, pi over 2 here, this whole expression should give you a value of 0. Okay, So let's uh, substitute uh, the value of x into this expression minus cosine 4 times pi over 2 this whole expression will give you a value of 0 cosine 2 pi will give you a value of 1 okay and there's a negative here so it's negative 1 quarter sine pi will give you a value of 0 Therefore, C will take the value of 1 quarter. Okay, So this C will take the value of 1 quarter. Now I'm going to start to work on the left hand side of this expression. F double prime is this expression here. So I'm going to substitute into uh, here.
four time of fx fx I can get from here the value of C is one quarter let's simplify the expression Four and four cancer two minus two sign one quarter times four is a one. So this will cancel away this four cosine four x minus one cosine four x will give you a three cosine four x. And we still have a plus one here, and this is actually equal to the right hand side of the expression shown.